it is failing every day beeping restarting that short video is how much i was annoyed with the fault was happening every single day in the last year hello my friends and channel subscribers Greg here from brisbane australia <clears throat> with another uncut unedited no bull video today's video about goodwin 10 kilowatt ms series inverter and fault which manifests itself as ground eye fault and while this fault is not fatal that means the inverter restarts most of the time and continue functioning I could not accept that that error is manifesting itself every single morning and um, I couldn't do anything about this. So let's make all the things straight. Is good inverter a bad inverter? Definitely not. It's still one of my preferred inverters and I'll tell soon why. Next, is ground eye fault is actual fault? It all depends. And in my case, it wasn't. Here is the reason for my video to actually um, take people through my journey discovering what ground eye fault meant in my case and make sure that if you have the same situation as mine, you know exactly what's happening and won't waste your time and effort and <clears throat> energy on something that is probably not worth it. So let's start from the beginning what happened and how I discovered that fault. Um, before um, Goodway, I had the um, Huawei inverter and Fronius inverter. Now I've got Goodway inverter and to be honest, all inverters that I had ever in my life, they are different inverters. Also I had the Sharp inverter, but it's a different story. I won't mention it because the Sharp inverter no longer exists and um, not really inverted worth talking about now uh, one year ago i installed system which i tried to maximize uh, my situation was a little bit interesting my house is very long and skinny and i've got a lot of roof space but the pointy bit of the house facing north that means that only places that could install my solar was east and west and it's not optimal. It's not optimal in many cases, but in my case, it was really making good sense. And the reason is that is I'm limited to five kilowatt anyway. So by maximizing the inverter to 10 and placing maximum 13.2 kilowatt panels on the roof, I was ensuring that in the summer and winter and the morning and afternoon, I would have that consistent curve of uh, electricity generation and instead of normal bell curve as sun rises and goes through the cycle I would have almost like a square curve so my idea was to maximize energy throughout the day without bell curve so kind of pick it in the morning uh, as soon as possible from east side for exposure and the sun go through the day it's become less efficient during the day believe it or not at 12 p.m. I've got less efficient generation probably at some um, maybe 40-50% of capacity. However, because system is 13 kilowatts, my 50%, it's more than enough to peak it at five kilowatts. So in the morning when I got full exposure at the east side, I'm getting almost five kilowatts at 7 a.m. Uh, in the summer. And also by 5 p.m. and just leaving that five kilowatt uh, going down. So that was theory. And also it was supported by installer because inverter is a three string inverter, which was beautiful. Um, if I would have like more square house, I could put east, uh, uh, north and, and west uh, oriented panels. But in my case, I decided to put one string on east side because the um, uh, there's not much sun in the winter on the east side. And also it's only morning. So I wanted to capture more afternoon and winter uh, power generation um, as it comes. So what happened is um, installer came, installed the panels, connected everything, tested and say everything is working well. 
and next morning I was hanging my clothes and I heard a loud beep. I rested the inverter and you literally got depends on your configuration of inverter but between 30 to 60 seconds see what's on inverter i i like that's the one beef uh, with good way uh, in my case is they're not really storing logs properly the information screen is not giving you much information of what's going on it's actually registering fault and then moving on so if you don't see it when it's happening it's really hard to see i think it does store more uh, significant faults but little faults not actually hanging on the screen so one day I was hanging washing I heard um, a loud beep and I came and I also uh, took that video and um, took screenshot what's going on uh, the inverter was on fault state the full generation died and inverter restarted so it restarts and became an um, okay and generating again it was happening randomly every single morning so every month i was in my install say hey there's a problem there's a problem they wanted to send electrician so that's my first tip if you're asking your installer for electrician and your inverter is not actively displaying fault you will be charged for um, call out fee that is fair that is normal so i'm trying to prevent people to actually be charged when there is no fault so I say now the fault is intermittent, what can you do? They say we ask Goodwin to connect remotely to your inverter and monitor it. So months later, two months later probably, my installer came and said, look, they cannot say any problem. I said, that's fine. What you would like me to do? He said, can you video when inverter fails? And that's the tricky bit because it doesn't fail every single day on the same time. It fails different times just in the morning. So I said, well, that's hard, but let's see what I can do. It took me seven months to actually capture inverter and the faulty state. I took that video, I sent it again to installer. I said, well, that's what's happening. I'm not lying. I said, okay, let me liaise with um, Goodway and electricians. So just yesterday, they came, not yesterday, two days ago, they came back to me and said, We've got um, good news and good news. I say, oh, let's start with good news then. Say, so first of all, you don't have any problems with your inverter. I say, well, how's it good news when it's failing every day? I say, listen, what is happening when in the evening generation stops, inverter going to sleep mode, and then when there's no generation for a while, it goes for deeper sleep mode. That means inverter at night time not functional, preserving energy and preserving the whole operation state. In the morning, when photovoltaic panels detect power, it kind of goes back from deep sleep into sleep mode. And when there's enough power, it actually activates itself and ramps up our generation. I say, all right, why are you telling me this? I say, okay, so in your situation, You've got one set of panels, one side of the house, which would detect sunrise. The other side of the house does not detect anything. It's really still dark on the other side. So, and that's where I kind of disagree with the engineering of the good way. But the good news, it's only happening 30 seconds a day. And I'm taking this, not as an excuse, but explanation of what's happening. So what's happening is the first string starts generating enough power to get inverter out of sleep mode and goes into production when other two strings are sleeping. So when sun starts rises and uh, there's enough uh, ultraviolet light to actually trigger other panels, they waken up another two strings. And it's so significant that inverter thinks that it needs to go out of the sleep mode it actually cannot reconcile its own uh, power generation. It goes in a brief restart and starts with all three strings, strings together. So my screenshot of the video clearly shows that one string is actually at zero generation and other generation a little bit. So a fault I is usually DC problem within the whole loop. And it could be a problem. So if you've got persistent fault I in a failure I in your Goodwin inverter, 
that means it could be at fault. If you still, if your inverter is still under warranty, please talk to your electrician, to your installer. They will be able to resolve it. However, if you're like me in a state where no one can actually tell you what's going on because the fault is not persistent, it's happening randomly uh, at the mo in the morning, that could be like you in my case, or actually it triggers the same situation when strings cannot reconcile that sleep wake up mode and it requires inverter to restart and while it's restarting it says full but it's not now why it's a random timing it makes sense because every day sun rises at different time so uh, closer to winter it rises later closer to summer it rises earlier so i couldn't capture inverter because it's really hard to know with the clouds and sunrise when those strings will require reconciliation and restart. So, point of this video to say I'm still very happy with my Goodwill inverter. I'm still very happy with the way installer um, dealt with such not easy situation because I think installation like mine is not that common. My house is extremely long and, and, and the roof space is significant and it's not common that you put that significant amount of panels on either side of the roof but if you're in my situation i hope that this video video is really helpful to you and if you have any other question about um, goodwill inverter or any other inverters perhaps a good uh, uh, experience with the sharp fronius 1.5 fronius 5 kilowatt and goodwill 10 kilowatts so four different inverters uh, tesla battery and different type of panels. So I'm not an installer, I'm just trying to make those videos from consumer perspective. I really hope this video was helpful to some of you and uh, if you got any questions, uh, uh, please ask in the comments down below. If you like my channel, uh, as a token of appreciation, please subscribe, like this video and I will try to make sure that I cover all the questions that people ask. Thank you so much for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia, until next time.